Hey guys, this is SF and welcome to Random Talk Sundays. This week I'll be playing Butterfly and why I started uh, started midway, well it's just the start of the first dungeon is because uh, Queen Butterfly is in the Library of Memories on the... so 24-7, so... and my stamina, so you get 5 tries on it and then I have full stamina I have full stamina of 241, so that means if I want to do all 5 in during this session, I need 9 more minutes and judging by... No, not 9 more minutes, uh, 27 more minutes. I need 9 more stamina, but then uh, 3% stamina, so 27 more minutes. So, I kind of left it here for a while, like I turned off my phone and stuff like that, so that my... So this is the first, uh, first run, and then while I was away a little bit, uh, my stamina will recover and I can do 5 times in a row. So that's basically it and I'm just bringing really random monsters in general. Well they're not random, they're really really powerful. <laughs> they are super super powerful. But you know, they don't fit the gimmicks that much. But anyways, uh, one reason, the only reason I wanted to do uh, Queen Butterfly is the Karage Queen Butterfly, the chicken barbecue, not barbecue chicken, the fried chicken uh, Butterfly. I want to max lock her so and I don't really want to waste my festival butterfly because she's never going to come back. So, you know, I just want to make another queen butterfly so I can use her instead of the festival one. Although I don't use queen butterfly in general, but since uh, she's in the library, I can just use my full stamina per day and then just and just farm her relatively slowly. There we go. But there's not much going on in NA for the most part. Uh, Cybell is still going on and then First Empress that that series is ending I think uh, once this video is up. Well actually it's the 11th so Remembrance Day so you know uh, there's always Remembrance Day in Canada so and then what you call it that series of First Empress and all that monsters will is done by now and then it's just Guardians and then next will be something totally different, I don't even know what. Might be a new series, I highly doubt it will be a new series, but you never know. But next... But right now there is the 24 hours for 5 extremes, so today is the first day on the 11th and it is third here. And with the clear bonuses, I think it's really really easy. Of course, uh, you might want to, or for stamina, you want to do it faster, but even if you don't and you just use all the stamina that you have, uh, have you you have onto that specific dungeon you can beat it then you'll probably get to max luck in my opinion uh, because of the clear bonus clear bonuses give like what 30 to 40 drops already as long as you have the monsters then it should be okay you don't you probably don't even need the max luck uh, if you play every single day and use all that stamina for those dungeons I think they alternate three times maybe two times I didn't really check the schedule or how many days it is but I think it's I think it's like two times, and it might be good for people that are trying to finish it, uh, finish some monsters up, and it might be good for people that want to actually want to actually like max luck monsters for Avalon, because Avalon's coming up, and I think I've talked about Avalon, so that I don't really want to talk about it again. But it's going to be hard for a lot of people. Uh, in my opinion. Avalon is easier than the 31st floor of the tower, so people who are beating the 31st floor of the tower, then Avalon is not that bad. But the most of the main news is in JP for this week, so I guess I'll start with the really biggish one. Although there are two big ones, one is of course Siegfried. Siegfried's Transcension is announced, and I really like it in my opinion. I really like it. And twin one-way lasers, you do have to position for it, but uh, but the strike shot is very very useful because it speeds and powers up, increases speed and strength, and then um, and then he returns to the position. So if you position well with Siegfried or with one-way lasers, then this is a very good monster because you get more damage output and you don't lose any of the uh, any of the all oh, that speed up any of that uh, position for the strike shot 
Uh, the lasers is 24k per laser, so it's not like 24 combined of the two lasers, so you only have to hit one one side to... And then there is a possible chance of two sides, so it's 48, 48k if you position like directly in between those two lasers, which is really, really strong. But of course, it might it's not like crazy OP. Uh, it's really strong, it is a big improvement, but it's not like crazy OP. So I think it's really fit for... Uh, non-exclusive, non-limited monster, and abilities is not that bad either. No damage wall, no warp, and then Dragon Slayer. Basically combination of Ascend and Evolve. And the Strike Shot uh, also returns to the, of course, returns to the spot where you shot it. And it's a very short cooldown of, uh, of 8 turns for the first gear, and then 16 turns for the second gear. So... Oh, I forgot she's Pierce. She turns to Pierce. I was thinking of just going straight at Nightingale, but whatever. What is Lilith's strike shot? Oh, it's still Meteor. Okay, there we go. Okay. That's run number one. And let's see the drops. Two drops, not bad. Seven minutes, whatever. I think my stamina came back, right? For the most part. I just need 200. 200 left, and then I can do the four more runs, and then that'll be a okay. Come on. Yay, 202. So I have four more runs in me. But yeah, library is very good. But of course it is a giant stamina tank. But if you co-op with people, like if you get four people and you want to finish off one and uh, you want to max like a monster then like together, then that's this is a very good good thing to do. Because if you, all four of you pull together with stamina and runs, then that's 20 runs. And if you bring like two or three max like that's at least 60 to 70 at uh, 70 drops and for queen butterfly if you do like three you can probably do three depending on what you want depending on what max luck monsters you use and you can probably get to max luck if you can might take some luck but you know at least at most two days if you bring if you have a team of four and everybody everybody use their runs together But yeah, Siegfried is going to be really strong, but not going to be OP. Uh, works very well in Izanagi. Maybe for Izanagi Zero, if you bring a Phantom into the mix. And then, what's the other dungeon? There was one more dungeon. I totally forgot. Oh yeah, Eden might be, if you position for it. But not, like, OP status. But most likely Izanagi, Izanami, then Shigaru Genji. Then there's some tower floors, like the 29th floor where he can be really strong. So all in all, it's not bad, but he's not like crazy good. He's not like, let's say, Loki, Loki Lucifer status. He's around like more Eclipse status. Although some people might e like Eclipse more than uh, than Siegfried, just because you have to position for Siegfried. But either way, uh, looking forward to it, to using him. And then the second big news is, of course, the Yu Yu Hakusho, Hakusho uh, collaboration. So a lot of people are complaining. One thing, well, there are a couple of things that are complaining is one, why no Ascension form for the main character that is uh, what's his name, Yusuke. And then from people that I've known that watches the anime, uh, Kurama is the most popular uh, popular character in that anime, so that's why he got the ascension. So of course, you know, give more money from people. But there are some rumors, like you know, uh, from what they're uh, talking about in 
the collaboration. So the collaboration, sometimes like when it was the Saint Seiya collaboration, they kind of get people that haven't watched the anime to watch the anime. And basically they featured one of the arcs. And of course, it's, uh, from what I've heard, it's the most famous arc from the whole like, Yu Yu Hakusho anime. So that's really cool. But like, of course, Yu Yu Hakusho is like very big in terms of history. There's like like hundreds of hundreds of episodes and people are suspecting that there is going to be a second run of this collaboration and hopefully then we'll have like a Yusuke or a Hiei, uh, Hiei Ascension but if that happens like but it all depends on how well the first time round goes uh, how much money they make how much people played it and all that stuff and of course it has to be it has to be okay on both sides so it's not so even if Mixie like Monster Strike makes a lot of money with this with the collaboration then it doesn't mean that the Yu Yu Hakusho guys or the people that own the property of it will say okay so you have to convince both sides that you want the second round which is kind of hard for some for some people because you gotta Ooh, there's that speed up, double speed up, double speed up. And all the bombs, all the mines. So hopefully you might get a second round, but you never know. And we were been and then last night I was like talking with Strike Shot people like on the chats. And talk about what other possibilities there are in terms of collaborations and what I said that things at anime collaborations that will never happen the biggest one that people kind of want is Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball and that will never happen I'm gonna say this out loud I'm gonna say this on record Dragon Ball Z will never happen never happen in like a million years in my opinion like a million years it will never happen if it does then the whole world is gonna be destroyed and well even so like for some people the world has been destroyed because of something that really happened during this week I'm not gonna say much about it but you know I'm Canadian so I don't really care that much well actually I should care but like you know I don't care as much as the people down south but uh, one reason is just there's just one big reason and that is because of Dragon Ball Z's mobile game called Dokkan and basically that game is very very popular in Japan and Basically, why in the hell would you collaborate with a game that is a threat to you in the standings or like threaten you with like player base and all that stuff and money and stuff like that? And of course it works both ways. Even if one 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 part of the uh, one side like let's say if the Dragon Ball guys like the developers want to um, want to collab with Monster Strike and they want to like, you know, bring Dragon Ball Z characters over there and then you want to bring Monster Strike characters over there. It's really awkward, right? Like, of course you'll never see like Dragon Ball, uh, you'll never see uh, Monster Strike with uh, Puzzles and Dragons. And for people who have been wondering like, but you know, but Dragon Ball Z collaborated with uh, Puzzles and Dragons. Uh, there was one reason and that was because Dokkan was, Dokkan, the game, was never popular during that time. That was like, three years ago and I think Dokkan just started during that time and it was never near like reaching distance with like the top games and now that uh, now that Dokkan is very very popular and all that stuff even Puzzles and Dragons will never get a re reboot of the collaboration in Puzzles and Dragons because you know they're a threat like they're they're reaching for the top they're near the top like Dokkan's like top 10 and of course Puzzles of Dragons and Monster Strike are like top 3, top 1, top 3, they, they kind of all, uh, fluctuate. So that will never happen. So in that sense, like, the same company like that handles those games, Bandai, Namco, will never collaborate with these guys because, you know, threat and all that stuff. So some of those games are Gundam games, so there's no Gundam collaboration anytime soon. Um, one Piece Treasure Cruise is a Bandai game or like Thousand Storms or like there's two games out there. That will never happen. And Digimon never happens because they have a Digimon app game out in Japan as well. 
And then I think that's it for the most part. I think that's it for the most part. And other anime. Uh, so basically what people like why you hack show over like some other games as uh, some other anime is because of the, the uh, democ uh, demographics. <laughs> Democracy, God, oh my God. Uh, demographics, and basically they want to appeal to the, you know, the 30 to 40 age group because they have the most income, the most most spendable income, so they can spend money to buy ores, whereas people like, like, you know, in high school, university, or just starting out, uh, starting out on a job, uh, they won't have the money to actually buy the orbs to, you know, fund the contracts or like the copyright and all that stuff so that's why they want to appeal to those cut oh that's a lot of lightning damage so that's why and that's really plain and simple basically and so people have been talking about what other ones in the uh, 80s or 90s of good anime like I've seen like Captain, Captain Tsubasa Slam dunk might be it, but you never know. And then I remember some other. One. Uh, oh yeah, Kinikuma will never come to uh, Master Strike just because of they have a app game and it's basically a ripoff. It's not popular, but it is a, basically a ripoff of Monster Strike because you just pull and and then guys just sling and you know defeat enemies that way. So that thing will never happen. Oh, speed up. Nope, didn't speed up. And that's run number two. Almost. Almost. Aw, oh, man. But I'll be doing a 10 shot in Yu Yu Hakusho. I might do two depending on how many orbs I get at the end because I'm pretty sure there's going to be five orbs per set and then I have around 80 orbs right now. So you know there's five dungeons and depending on how much orbs I spend on max locking and all that stuff then I might do two shots, two ten shots. And three drops, not bad. Not bad at all. Wow, it's already been 17 minutes and only done two runs. Well, well. <laughs> this might go. I was thinking this will be like what, like twenty minutes at most, because I've been like going crazy, uh, crazy fast on this. And the stamina regen. Actually, I've done three rounds. Never mind. It's only three. And the stamina regen OP. So I might go to twenty minutes. And then, yeah, that's basically the two main ones. And in terms of all the other stuff, so. There is streams. Next week will be a stream for uh, Toguro at 80%, and then you can you can guess which one that will win the tournament part of the stream. And my guess might be it really depends, really, because of course it's either between M4 and then the well, actually like it's like it's like a three-person race. I don't, we don't even even know like the tournament brackets and stuff like that. But it is going to be a time clear, and th it will be the first time the dungeon has been up. So it really depends on the monsters that people have, the players have. So in terms of monsters, I think M4 has a big advantage. Because actually, yeah, M4 has a big advantage just because uh, B4, B4 have. One of the players is a non IAP player, so his character selection might be a little bit iffy. So I'm pretty sure, like, if they're going for time trial and stuff like that, time attack, then they're going to go uh, crazy in terms of hatcher monsters. They don't bring like max flex and stuff like that because it's all about how fast you clear. And that, and then one of the players in B4 might bring a farmable, which might not be the best. And then. There is Kabe Imaike Kabe Dongs, which is the winner of the Monster Strike Grand Prix uh, two months ago actually. 
well, a little bit over a month ago. And there, there's a chance they might make it. Like, like, and might be number one and stuff like that. So it's really between M4 and then you might get because of monster selection that way. I think skill wise, like, I'm pretty sure it doesn't really matter about skill because the dungeon is an extreme dungeon, so I'm pretty sure all four teams will be able to clear it relatively uh, easily. It's just a matter of how fast they can do it and how fast it really depends on the monsters they have. And although M4 doesn't have, uh, M4 has uh, Max Morai and then Taga Sakurai, Miyabo, and then Miyabo and Esushima. Like the three, the non everybody but uh, not Max Morai are really crazy. Like they have a lot of monsters and stuff like that, and they're really skilled. So I'm pretty sure they they do well. And then Max Morai, he might not be as skilled, he but he does have the monsters. He has a lot of the monsters, so I'm pretty sure he'll be able be uh, will be able to. Uh, hold up But we will see but even so it's only one extra orb. It's not that big of a deal It's not like the Grand Prix where it is like 50 orbs and you're gonna like kill somebody if they don't make it and stuff like that So I might go with M4 I might go with M4 just because it's probably the safest bet in my opinion just because of monster selection. And of course, uh, all about the stream effect, like, you know, you know that like people are watching and stuff like that, and of course they're more used to it than like all the other players as well. Okay, one more run. Yeah, I think that's all I have to talk about. Oh yeah, next week we'll also introduce a new transcension. So there's going to be three transcensions this month, uh, uh, Snow White, and then there is Siegfried, and then some other one. And for people like for people that are thinking like, "Holy crap, Siegfried was so uh, out of out of left field," right? I think that's what they're aiming for because, like you know, most of the time they will never. They will never choose a monster that is like really, really predictable, unless it's like you know, like a Zeus, uh, I like like Roma or something like that, or even uh, Snow White as well. Like Snow White was kind of out of left part, out of left field, just because of how she was announced. Like she wasn't really announced like during the anime or something like that. But actually, uh, I think people predicted when there was like. Uh, that concert thing during one of the anime episodes uh, for September 25th and then yeah and then transitions and stuff like that so people predicted that but if they didn't if Mixie didn't give hints then nobody will really like can guess uh, who's coming up so it's gonna be somebody that you'll never talk about or mention in my opinion like you know everybody's like either trolling with like Lucy, Gabrielle, stuff like that but people are probably been wanting like Lancelot, Hades, Hercules uh, what else there are? And uh, no, no, Margaret, like those types of monsters. I'm pretty sure, like, Mixie knows what people are talking about, like, what they want for the next transcension, and they're not gonna do it. So that's why I'm gonna shut up about what I want or what they're what might be, and you know, and just leave it for the surprise. I actually have 94 orbs now, so I can probably do a two shot, two ten shot in the future when the collab comes. And I need one more monster. Where's the gap? But yeah, in terms of Snow White, I'm not sure. Should I do? Did I? No. I haven't really filmed my Monster of the Week video yet, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do Snow White or not. But um, Snow White's not bad. It's just a matter of people hated it just because of all the hype they made, made the monster be. And then she's not really that great. Like, she's not bad. She's very strong. You know, the short spread is really, really strong. Of course, speed up is good for the uh, for the support and stuff like that. But you know, when there is Robin Hood and Nightingale, and Snow White really does fall off, like really falls off. Of course, they work together because you know 
you get more swipes for Nightingale when you have Snow White, but if you only if you can only choose one, then of course you you'll bring you'll want a Nightingale over Snow White. Except for like probably like Skiomi or like a 28th floor of the tower. 28 or 27. I think it's 28. No, 27. Some might bring Snow White over Nightingale, but I wouldn't say everybody. So you know. It's pretty meh. <laughs> And Siegfried is kind of, you know, people are satisfied, like, there was no hype, so everybody was surprised that it actually happened, and it basically did its job of, it improved, it combined the two with the abilities. Another reason why people hate Snow White is just because there's no reward from the Ascended version. And then, but yeah, Siegfried, you know, more power onto the bump combo, and of course, Stretch Out didn't really, is not a... Uh, big hinder to his overall kit because it re returns you back to where you started so if you're positioned for the laser then you'll shoot the strike shot and you're completely fine with um, completely fine with you know uh, keep uh, hitting Siegfried for the uh, for the bump combo and you know some people and you know I know everybody's like people is like he's not OP but you know he's He's back on par with like the middle of the pack monsters. Like he won't be like Lucifer crazy. Although Lucifer is, you know, there are some good points and bad points about Lucifer, but uh, Siegfried is just good in general and nothing more, nothing less. And then boss time, and this is the last run. But next week, I'm for NA. I'm. Basically, might do some really random stuff with uh, the 24 hour, 24 hour thing. I might do something really crazy. I don't know. Uh, I will see. And and most of and for the most part, I will be either farming berries or farming for rank in NA. JP wise, of course, I'll be busy with Yu Yu Hakusho because that's going to be coming out after. Guardians. Oh yeah, for Toguro, 100%. I think it will come with the badge of honor, so you don't have to make another, uh, make another one to actually make a berry, make a variable. So that's nice. Okay. more shots and I'm going so fast like sometimes you want this <laughs> every day because you're going so fast and if you have the stamina then you know I'll just do it and Snow White I think I went too short oh well, maybe not yep I did I went too short ouch that hurt Shot. I probably won't die, I would think. There we go. OP. Uh, the only bad thing about Nightingale is that the SS animation takes too long. <laughs> for people that are farming, it might take a little bit too long. Like, she's really good for Yamato Takeru, and when I was playing Yamato Takeru with her, I was just doing, doing some random, like, comps and whatever. And you know, it took a while for that structure to hit to start, and then yeah. And of course, with the speed up and stuff like that, she moves more. So that might be a drag about Nightingale if you're really into the farming thing. And that is five runs of Queen Butterfly, and that only took 30 minutes. So it's very, very cool. It's very, very easy to. F uh, to max luck people like people say that they're overwhelmed with you know uh with all the stuff that's happening but if you know if you take your time like you know five runs takes 30 minutes depending on the monsters you use like and of course the dungeon as well so if you spend like an hour a day on the game then you'll be you you'll have a max luck in no time like even 
even the new series, like if you spend one hour, one hour of dungeon farming time, then you'll get to max luck at the end. I'm pretty sure. Like uh, the main, like the average time is like six hours. So if you do like six volt, like six straight days or six every other day for one hour onto the descent, then you'll uh, you'll be able to max luck. And most of the time, depending on your rank, you won't even need to orb for uh, orb for stamina. And you see my total is at 2,600, so 7 more days, 1 more week until I can roll for, uh, I'm going to make that roll video for that sharp. But that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys like and subscribe and see you guys next time. Bye.